one. Hello everyone and welcome to Tonic Live with me Owai. And me Alison. It's just us two. It is, it's quieter today. It is we quiet. know it makes the noise it's Dan's, Dan. <laughs> Dan's house hunting, Dan rustling, isn't that rustling Ooh. in the background with his crisp packet. <laughs> <laughs> oh poor Dan. Poor Dan, no he's, he's having a, um, he's house hunting today. So he will be he will be back. All exciting stuff. I think so, yeah. He was gonna be back in the afternoon. I'm just gonna check, find the live stream a moment and make sure we are. Have you been watching Jody? Have you been in have, have you, you been caught watching? It? Have you caught the show? Because we're gonna we're gonna explain a little bit more to you. Let's see, let's make sure we're we're live for the start. Two seconds. Two seconds are we there? Tell us. Tell us are we with you? <laughs> Tell us. Are Hello everyone and welcome to Tonic Live with me Owen. And me Alison. There we go, we've done this one before but you didn't even know that. Um, <laughs> hello, hello everyone. It's not like us. Is it's it? not like us. Uh, Dan's still off house hunting uh, today but he will be back soon. We'll check and make sure we're live now. We should be, but there we are. That's our, that's our faces there. It is. There they it are. Is. I wonder if they've got a couch for sale. Oh goodness knows. <laughs> I'm think? sure that couch is gone by now. I'm sure that couch has gone. But hello everyone, what is Tonic Live? It's your first time joining us. It's the part of the week where we have live papercraft tutorials with our resident house crafter, Alison Whelan. And me, I always think resident DJ when I think of that. Like, <laughs> I can see yeah, she's this, in <laughs> on a dime machine, good. So you got the resident. It's more like that, isn't it? <laughs> Make some noise! <laughs> right, so, uh, and, and Alison is the expert crafter. Ah. She goes through a brand new tonic launch, which today's uh, launch is the Jigsaw Media die it set, is. which you would have caught earlier today at 12 with Jody. But you can catch it straight after this show at 4 p.m. on Achanda. If you haven't seen Achanda before, just Google it, Achanda.com, and you can watch online. Uh, there we go. This is where you come for the show. Yes, David, the, the, the sofa sale is on at the end. <laughs> Um, Who bought it? I don't know who bought it in the <laughs> end, but some lucky viewer. Some lucky viewer won the prize. Hey everyone, so um, yeah, uh, tell us what we've got coming up today. What we've got is a new concept for us. We have our media die, our first media die, and this is in the form of a jigsaw. So I'll open it. For you to know, the packaging is very different for starters. So you'll know there's something different about this die set. So we've got, hold on, if I can get into this one. Oh, wow, this is, <laughs> this is very, very stuck down. Go on, you open that oh, one yeah, and I'll have. open this I'll one. I'll just have a look what we've got here. So David said, yeah, wave your Nouveau in the air like you just don't care. Well, we'd have the glow drops, wouldn't we? We'd well, you'd have to, wouldn't you? You'd have to have a bit of Nouveau. Wow, th this tape is ooh, super sticky. <laughs> to say the least. It's all right, it's a bit of an improper unboxing this. I know. Right, so, shall I pull mine I out? wanted to you bring that, no, you can bring that out. I wanted to show you how they're gonna come to you. And then I was gonna show you what mine look like. Because I know I've seen a few comments about um, media clip, media dies have damaged my plates. Um, they're all bent and buckled. So I was gonna show you what I've got. Right, here's your dye. This is how your dye is going to come to you. So it's a copper colour, so you know that's different to our normal dyes, because obviously our normal dyes are silver. So any of the copper coloured ones are going to be media dyes. So that's telling you there's going to be more in the future. Well, maybe, yeah, maybe. I guess so. It's a nose tap for you. Definitely a nose tap for me. <laughs> this is your shim. This is your metal shim which you're gonna need to use with your media dies. So let me show you mine, and mine have done an awful lot of cutting, believe you me. They've done testing, and they've also done a lot of cutting. So as you can see, there's your new one on the plate. Let me lift them up here. There's your new one on the plate, all shiny. And there you go, you get, sorry, you can see the, the deepness of them there. And here's one that I've been cutting. And this, there's your new plate, all lovely and shiny. This is the plate that I've been using, and this is the plate I've used all along. You can see some dents in the plate, but if you can look at the plate there, it's still pretty straight, and it's been well, well used. 
I have turned the plate over just to keep it nice and flat so that's what I would recommend for you that you turn your plate um, I mean as you can see I can't I can bend it a little bit but it's still you it's still shape. straight yeah it's not one that you can bend very easily so what do we do with these media dies I hear you asking they're all asking I know I can hear you <laughs> just just above the noise of how much is that couch there did some of them are asking <laughs> I think <laughs> does the metal shim come with it the metal shim is a special offer that comes with it's a freebie I believe that comes with your jigsaw die so you're going to use that for any media die that you've got and that's on 4 p.m after this uh, on the channel as well you'll be able to catch up with Joe. yeah um i think it's 27.99 i think i got that price i right. think it's about right yeah i think that's it right so what have we been cutting are you lots of you asking <laughs> is if that our thing now you just say i hear you i ask. hear you asking <laughs> i know i know what you're thinking that's what it is i know, I know what you're that thinking it's like a crafter so what have i got you i may as well cut them as i'm going because then you can see exactly it i am using our normal machine i'm not using any special machine i'm using the tangerine and the plates i'm using are our embossing plate so it's a green plate and i'm also using our top plate and the shim so that's the only three things i need to cut this machine if you use a different machine other than the tangerine don't panic because there will be videos come in of different machines and we'll be giving you different plate combinations. A uh, few people with us. Uh, Catherine, uh, hello. Uh, loads of you with us. Lou, uh, letting them know, yeah, if you buy the die, you'll get it free on a channel with 4 99 Tom's asking when did it launch? Well, it launched uh, earlier today, this afternoon, so 12 o'clock, but you can catch it again at 4 p.m. Now, that's why this show is a little bit earlier today, uh, is for that, so 4 p.m. When you'd usually watch Tonic Live, Tom, if you think of it as, as that time, you just turn on a chanda and you can watch that. Um, there you go. I'm going to get the YouTube up as well. So I got you both. On the show as well, there is grey board. This is our grey board that we've launched today. Oh, that awful voice. <laughs> Who's that? Oh, I don't know. Who is oh, that shocking. Voice? <laughs> <laughs> shocking voice. <laughs> On the show today is launched our grey board as well. It's A4 grey board and it's 600 GSM. You get five sheets in a pack and if you're looking at thickness of grey board, it's one millimetre thick. That will cut with these dies easily. Um, if you've got thicker grey board, give it a try. It may need a couple of cuts, but just give it a try. So, Let's have a little look then. I'm going to use the die that I've used all along. So you can see there's no jiggery poker here. You know, I'm not swapping dies or doing anything. Scissors now. I did have a scissors earlier. Oh, I had some scissors. No, oh, I, oh, I got it. I got it. I got I'm just going to chop this in half because I want to see where my mat is. So we'll pop that over there because obviously... I want this die to be sat on my shim. You cut into your metal shim. Don't cut into your mats because it will damage them. You cut into your shim. Um, Chrissy says grey board, yay. It, only the craft industry would say that. Oh, grey board gray is board, amazing. Yay. Craft card, amazing. Um, you can make um, family jigsaws. Oh, the, the, some of the, the the prep and the jigsaw stuff you would have seen on the show are awesome for just because yeah I think um, uh, K Rye asks on YouTube she says saw the new set on the channel it's fabulous I'm sure it's going to sell out which it may do uh, will you be bringing back the previous jigsaw die set I think that was quite popular so I think they'll probably bring I'm back sure the, the old die as well and that had I think it was I said earlier like six different parts I think and it just but this is it you know a much a more detailed oh, yeah. jigsaw for your intermediate it jigsaw it if is yeah if you're doing and they're, they're good fun to put together so there we are i mean this could have a picture on there that could be a picture of your family um it could be what, me and dan it could be you and dan it could be a tonic jigsaw. it could be a tonic trio jigsaw it, it could be you know if you've got children and they want pictures of their favorite toys um 
the grandparents, things like that. That can all go on you. You can give, um, just for you to make sure, this is all cut. Well, that, that, that's, that, that's, that's the whole point to, 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 show to, you as to well. raise, is that, yeah, you don't have to cut those apart. No, they're, they're they're all done. Right. It's um, all done. Yeah, if your kids are into whatever, you know, because you, you, you can print out Marvel, whatever. Exactly. You just print it out on the computer. Stick it on. And just stick it on, and you've got stick your own little your jigsaw then. Uh, so there we are. Just for you to show, there's no, no marking on there. There is a little bit of a pressure mark, but there's no denting on my plate. And there is nothing on there. So if, if you've used media dyes before and you feel as though they've ruined your plates, try it this way all right you can do double-sided ones too yes christine you could. clever you could I like it what else have we got you're gonna love this this was actually the back of my sofa so this was actually <laughs> you know crafters we don't waste anything do we i didn't keep the seats and everything but the back of the sofa didn't have any wear on it so we kept the back of the sofa not your current sofa though is it no not the current one the old one oh. the one we got rid of <laughs> don't mind me i'm just uh yeah <laughs> there's a hole in the back the of the sofa, sofa please but, don't lock you know, don't go around that side um hello from oklahoma mercedes is with us uh scrapping for my boys is on there too sandra jordan's with is the gray board on sale as i didn't see it check on the chanda website i'm pretty sure it should be there for you unless it's sold out already um yeah, is I think someone said. I think she said Mary said Mary Roberts is here with you, Mary Roberts and Paula. Hello. I love it when Tonic Live viewers come together. I don't know whether you can see this, but this is pretty thick leather. Oh, it's not. It's not your thin. I don't know whether you can see the thickness yeah, there. If you can it is pretty it, thick you can... leather. You know, if you think this is had wear and tear. Obviously not this bit, but the general part of your sofa is ge geared up for wear and tear. I may have missed a couple of corners on you, but we'll run it through. Kim says you should have sold the sofa on you. I should have. <laughs> I should have. That's the couch for today. <laughs> <laughs> well, the sofa was being broken up. Subconscious. So. It's like they knew. Right. Let me make sure that it's all cut through. If it hasn't, you can always run it back through. There you are. If you can see there, I can see all the cuts Pretty on much. there before I pop them out. And that is a thick piece of leather. There we are. Look, even the middle ones there are popping straight out. Uh, are these pieces smaller than the last set? Yeah, they are. So the, the last they one are was, like, smaller. was like six big, um, big squares. Yeah. But you get, how many squares do you get? Um, six, six maths. Uh, 25. Yeah, 25. 25 individual jigsaws and they can be you know they don't have to be in a square you can take if you want to on the center pieces because obviously you've got all the edgings then on those if i can find them there we are there's one there just use the middle ones so you can make up a random pattern then with them and they will all fit in if you wanted to extend it let's say you want to do a landscape one you make it as you big as you want to, because yeah. they will all fit together. There we are. Okay. You just keep going, keep building, and these will all go together. You know, I'm not doing very well. How are you I? working out the picture so easily? Easy, <laughs> easy. I love the. I just find all the green bits. Yeah, you? find the green. Start <laughs> with the green bits and move on. Um, I got, I'll just. I'll be back at just before four. We need to get tea in the oven. Oh, that's fine, Christine. I'm I maybe we'll be having a brilliant time with Paula. Yeah, that I hope you are having a good fit. time. Which one should we have? We love that one there. No, there we are. So you just keep going as big as you want it. And keep extending. You know, that could be the whole of your canvas that you want to put on there. But you can just keep going. So, I'll hold it so forward, I don't mean I'm developing quite a little bundle here, aren't I? But if you don't have a sofa, because a lot of people haven't. Just going to show you what I bought. I bought this bag off eBay. And I don't know whether you can see in there. But this is all odd scraps of leather. So they uh, I don't know, it's just buzzing all over the place. They're different colours, different sizes. But if you only want scraps, 
then these are perfect to use you know you can use back and front because they they look like suede on the back but you can use all of these bits i mean some have got little holes in them where they obviously can't use them on sofas um nice bit of white leather there bag of scraps bag of scraps, bag of scraps. this <laughs> was i got a feeling this was five pounds i have a feet it may have been i can't remember there was five or ten pounds but you can see the bag that is the bag and that was solid and i don't think i paid any postage for it either and even the postage on you says there we are it's a kilogram and the postage came to 3.95 so if there's anything you know if you want to if you want to give it a try but you think oh i'm not going to buy a load of leather give this a go right so i'm going to need to cut a couple of these later but i'll show you what else i've got first so we'll put all those together um what else have i got here i've got hessian I have put a little bit of spray starch on this just to hold the fibres together but that is all I've done you know there's nothing else stuck to it and remember to use that, that bit and then okay, okay. Um, these pieces so, yeah, um, so you punched holes for the necklace we'll get to them we'll get to that we'll now. <laughs> we will get to it I'll show They're you just like, exactly when is it going to happen is it? and the material says you can get it from tanning shops that make saddles and belts yeah yeah there yeah. we are the, uh, now the ones in the tanning shops may be a bit thick right this is the hessian and again you may get a tiny little bit right in the corner but all these are cut there we are and you can glue this what i did i did a project with this and i just glued it down onto um some gray board painted the gray board first and then glued this on if you had a cool design you could sew it to a jumper you could do something but like it would that. probably fray on a jumper if you're washing it if you've had other stuff oh what about this with this fray no you can put do it on. with that then sew it on your jumper yeah you can do a little that. badge rivet you can make on. a little badge rivet, rivet yeah I've also got some cork fabric. So this is cork on the front, but it's fabric on the back. So if you can see that, that's, that's your fabric on the back of it. It's lovely and soft. Yeah, it's nice, but it's a bit thin lovely. as well. It looks thicker than it. Yeah. It is. Um, w will the shim fit in all machines? We expected a few people to ask yes. about the, the, the shim. And the shim will fit in all well. machines. Um, as I say, I will be doing some videos for you. We'll do um, some with different machines and, and we'll tell you what you need then. I've got some machines here, but our plates are very, very worn. Um, so I'm going to get some more plates and we're going to sort things out for you. You're not going to be left high and dry. So there we are. There's my shim, my die on my shim. And again, whoops this on top um, there you go Sarah saying what size uh, is the jigsaw die we'll measure it up for you now I will measure it there we are so again all cut through there we are all all done and dusted just pull your part your pieces apart Go, all done. So there's another one done. They really come out easy. If you've got like a they little, do. if you've got a little they box do. there, and you're just chucking them in the box, then yeah, there's put nothing. Them, you, you I know. got a box upstairs now with all bits and bobs in there that I'm keeping. Right, I've got here funky foam, and I know you're going to say you can cut funky foam with a normal die cut. Yes, you can. But what I have found is that it compresses. This one keeps its thickness. So you can use this for, um, you can make your rubber stamps out of this. You can use it for projects for dimension. Um, if you do your mixed media stuff, then a lot, you can mold this. 
and I'm just thinking what else you could use with it. I would say dimension is the main thing and texture. So again, we pop this out. If you look at that, it's not all flattened and squashed as you would expect normally. These have kept their thickness and they just fall yeah. apart. It's a nice feeling. That. It is. It is. I'm thoroughly <laughs> enjoying myself here, making know. a mess. So that's that. What else have I got? Um, I've brought some. I brought a load of bits down. I've actually got a bit of balsa wood. Right. The only thing I would say with balsa wood, I'll cut a little bit off here. It's very brittle. What I should have done, but I haven't. I would put a piece of um, oh double-sided sticky sheet on the back of this just to hold it everything together. It's not the dye, it's actually the, the wood that's coming apart because it is a very brittle wood. But it's a good effect. And you know, you get a wooden a wooden feel to it after. So we'll run that through. So there's our dye. I mean, it could be that you're into your doll's house making or your model making and you've actually got bits of balsa wood left around. So, you know, you get, try out these fabrics on there. Try whatever you've got in the house. So there we go. So it's all compressed and it just falls apart. Felt. Easy felt. You cut through oh, felt, felt easy. Easy through no felt. No problem with felt. Um, right, this here, it's printable cotton. It's like a linen effect, but you could print onto this. You, as we were talking about, your having your family's picture on it, mm -hmm. having your children's picture on it, you can actually print on this. So this could be something you put on the front of a bag, it could be on a cushion, take little bits out of it. Um, nice little design work with it. So we'll we'll cut some of this as well. So, you know, match up are. those textures. You could have a you know, your wallpaper, I guess, and stuff like that if you want to use as well yeah. with it. And and just yeah, the ease of just creating like a little box of jigsaw pieces. Like I think I don't know who did it. It might have been Lou or it might have been Jen or Claire, I can't I remember, but they, when I was taking pictures of them, she had four different individuals. That was Jen. Jen, yeah. That was Jen. Yeah. So Jen, you had uh, yeah, four different little jigsaws in there. And imagine that, you know, that as a little gift, so four different jigsaws. It could be the four family members of that family with each of their face on go. or something like that. Something fun. So all this all pops apart. Oh. Um, you know, again, a lovely little gift for a family member. What you could do as well is make your frame, make a wooden frame or something that the jigsaw fits into and then just have the pieces that slot in and then it could be framed up on the wall then. I think what I'd, I'd do is, if I remember from my 18th, I think I had like a, a card and they took a picture of me and put googly eyes on or something like that. Like the girls, these girls have made, made a card for me and they'd... Uh, yeah. But yeah, for like for that, wouldn't it be nice like to give it for a like a picture or maybe a potentially embarrassing picture that, 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 that they don't like that much and then just have it as a jigsaw and go, oh, there you go. And then they just put it together and go, oh, I know, I know what this exactly. is. Exactly. It'd be good, just a classic picture that you have of yourselves and just give it as a gift in like a little box. You don't have to show them what it is already. You don't have to put it on That's the top. That's it. Right, this is just a little bit of cheap, I think it's poly cotton. It's not proper cotton. Um, fabric. I've put an interface in on the back and I've doubled it over. So let's get my die. So we'll pop the die on the top again. Um, can normal dies cut anything out with a metal shim? Um, you would damage your dies, I would say. Eventually, you would damage your dies. I'm just going to bring this one back. Uh, Give it a try, but um, I would probably say they wouldn't withhold. There we are. So again, these, and they doubled over. Oops. And this is the iron-on interface, and I've popped on these. There we are. 
just take that away and again some of these I would run this one through again to be honest because I haven't cut it right the way through again it's a little bit of trial and error I've not cut that one right through so I would give it another go run it through again there we are all right so Really any nice. questions about what we can use? Yeah, any questions? <laughs> any questions? Have we covered? I think we've gone through most. Fa have we covered most, most fabrics things? known to Matt? I think we've we've done. Well, that's what I thought. I wanted to show you what I've cut with it. I mean, Jody may have cut something different. I know the design team have cut other things. They cut shrink plastic with it. Um, acetate just thinking can be a little bit dodgy. It depends on the acetate because all acetates are different, different so I would give it a try see what your acetate does um, but you're not going to break your machine the only thing I would say is look at the thickness of stuff that you're putting through because it may be that you need to put a shim with some things because it may be that what you've got is not thick enough and you may need to put a card shim with them um, some pieces of leather are very very thick and they would be too thick to go through. Um, so I would be careful there. They will run through, but they may not cut perfectly through. But saying that, I know Jen bought a thick piece of leather, but hers was like belt leather or something. It was really, really thick. But she had the most fantastic pattern on it. Yeah, yeah. It was gorgeous. Um, but I don't think you're gonna buy much thicker than the back of the sofa. No. To use. No, to, to be fair. You know, not many people do that. Christine, uh, this, is a, this is a good idea by Christine. I mentioned felt because you could use a sticky board to make the felt help the, the jigsaw on the thing. So you could have like yes. a board and you just put the... That would, that's quite cool. I like that. Um, fridge magnets. Fridge magnets. team magnet. have used. Christine made... Yeah, is it so yeah, I think it was Christine Oh, Christine Smith. Davis. Christine Davis, but I think Christine Smith made it done a... Um, Christine Smith is the one um, that did the... She did a lovely stamped image, put a fridge magnet on the back of that. Um, that was beautiful. I'm just trying to think what everybody made. Uh, Norma said, uh, can you cut photo paper? Yes. Yeah, easy. You yes. Paper. Um, now, with normal dyes, I put the shim under the plate. It gives more pressure, but won't damage the dye. Don't know what you say then. Do plate, but they do that anyway. So, yeah yeah so I, th I think that that's saying you know it depends on how you do it i know what i've got yeah that i haven't cut this is mount board and that is oh, it's quite, that's it's quite thick. thick yeah quite hard yeah i knew i had something else to show you you know i like showing you everything um alison um, lee's with us it says hi linda says thank you oops it's right. a little bit high for me. Oh, it's a bit tight going through. I think I'm <laughs> knocking the side of my... It's a bit high. Microwave. You need some height. Have you got your platforms? I need my platforms, <laughs> don't I? There we are. Alison wears platforms all around the, all around the office. Like stilts, love. Like wizard, stilts. don't you? You like from... That's what I am. Wizard from, from Christmas time. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, I'm like Professor Sprout, <laughs> don't I? <laughs> There we go. So there's my mount board. <laughs> All cut. And you're not going to want to cut much thicker than mount board, are you? They're done. All done. So, seeing as I've made a nice little mess by you now, haven't I? Go. Have I got to put it together now? Yeah, go on. Put it together, though. Right. Put it together. One at a time. <laughs> Is there go. anything else that people are thinking that we've not tried that I think people are in interested try? about how you've put, uh, like, pre punched this and things. How have I done that? Let's show you. I need to cut a few extra leather pieces. Seeing as I've cut some, I mean, like I say, these are just scraps of leather, little bits, nothing special. But I only want. I only want little bits of it. Oops. Decided to stay on tea can wait. Yeah, it can. Food and water can wait, Christine. You can just enjoy the show. Exactly. Uh, um, my craft room is carnage. I bet it is with both of you there, uh, Paula. Uh, what else have we right, got? Let's have a look here. We're going to cut some middle bits here. It may be that you don't want the outside of the die, that you just want to cut the middle of the die. This board is like, that's just right thickness for like a jigsaw. It is. It, it well. is. So you've got my mum would love these. 
Oh, your mum would have a whale of a time with that. She loves it because one of the first things we thought, she said, oh, could they cut fabric was one of the first things she asked. And I was like, oh, yeah, you know, basic Beastly. shape. Like basic Beastly. shapes because that, that was what we had, like layering dies because she wanted to do some like dr fancy dress costumes and stuff. There we are. So this is, this is leather as well that I've just had out of the scrap bag. I know. As you can imagine, we've been looking at different things. What can we try with this? There we are. Lots of bits and pieces there. Right. Let's make a start, shall we? What have I started with? Right. This is what I've started with. This is grunge paper. And grunge paper, I have no idea what it's made of, but it's bendable paper that doesn't tear well yes it does i'm lying it's very touchy it does tear today isn't it it is it is, a texture. It, is. it will tear as i thought it wouldn't but it does there's also a grunge board and i don't know whether that tears um this will die cut with normal dies so that's not a problem um but it's it's quite stable you know unless you're going to rip into it so that's what I've used as my starting point, and you can see it there on the back. So I've taken, how have, how have I measured? I've measured my wrist. So that's all I've done is put, put the grunge board around my wrist. Not very tightly, but you can always loosen it a bit with the leather. It could be a necklace, it could be a bracelet, it could be whatever you decide you wanna make with it. So I've got a little bit of our Nouveau ink because again, obviously, this is a water resist ink and this grunge paper takes the ink really well. And I've just got a sponge. It does, doesn't it? It does, it does. I've never it takes heard of that before, grunge. I've not, this is the first time I've used it. We, we bought it upstairs. We try a lot of different things here to see what we can do with different things. Um, no, and I'm almost like, these dyes are dangerous. I'll be cutting everything in sight. I think most people are just going to be will. like, just cut it. Like. You will. You'll want to try <laughs> everything. <laughs> Jigsaw in newspaper, just a lot. Like, people are like, exactly. oh, no, can you please stop Jigsaw in everything? The one thing I've not covered is cutting paper, because obviously your normal dyes cut paper and card and things like that but you can cut layers with this whereas you'd only cut maybe one or two layers with your normal dies you can put more layers together with this um just give it a try um the grunge paper isn't our own it's i don't know where you put that out isn't what it's not ours no it's not ours no, so you, uh, I it's know. actually um it's Tim Holtz. Oh, he obviously. It's, it's, it's Tim's. <laughs> Who would do gr grunge stuff the best? Tim Holtz Tim. ideology, grunge paper. Um, you got to us. Um, just ordered. Uh, missed earlier show. Glad they haven't sold out. We'll catch uh, the show at 4pm. Yeah, catch our show because you're going to see this inspiration you see now. Then. But you're also going to see all the stuff from the design team. And they've done some crazy and cool stuff as well with that. Um, I have so many ideas. I need my dice. Can you do an extra shift in the packing? Oh, yeah, so I'm, they'll, they'll be fine. You don't need oh, these the, admin, the soft admin hands. Oh, you're doing, doing wonders there. They're, they're, they're smashing it. Like you they're make amazing. It, they're packing really quick. So, uh, so hopefully you get it very, very soon. It's great cuisine. I used to make the braces a few years ago and still have some somewhere, says Jane. Um, let's look again. What is grunge paper? Never heard of it. I'd say first time I had it. I'm, kind of the only thing is, I'll tell you what it says on the back. It says a compressed, flexible, thinner sheet of dingy material that can be punched, painted, inked, sanded, die cut or grunged. But I think it's, it's a recyclable paper. I think that's what it is. Um, it's really but cool. what it's made of, I really couldn't tell you. Check it out. You Google grunge paper. I'll show you. You'll find it. You know, oh, Tim I'm Holt. sure you will. Tim Holt's got loads I'm of cool sure stuff like will. that. Um, what else should we have on you? I need another two on the ends. I think we'll have some more cork. So we'll use our cork fabric on the ends. So I'm just placing it to see how much room have I got here. And then I'm just putting a tiny little bit of glue on the ends. So there we go. So I'm just going to glue those in place now. 
uh, Joan as well. Um, I've ordered the dies is getting so near the hospital and going on the twelfth. I think this is Joan uh, from from it was usually on Facebook. Hospital on the twelfth of September. Your shows will keep you going. Yeah, oh, we'll be here. Take it, Wishing Joan. you the best. Look after yourself. Um, um, I'm not worried about this being a permanent glue either because I am going to be punching this. So I just want to hold it all in place while I do the punching. And everything will be permanently in place then. There we go. Last bit there. Another bit over here. It's cool. Like well, I didn't. I didn't want to make too long a demo today because obviously there's so I had so much to show you in the in the hour. And obviously, I don't want to don't want to take up Jody's time either. So it was going to be a quick um, yeah, yeah. project, right? So I've got a crocodile. I know lots of you out there will have crocodiles, um, or rivet punches, anything like that. So I'm just gonna turn it over gently because it may well not have dried, and I'm just gonna punch a hole into the centre of each of these pieces Le class idea uh, lisa as well she says i wonder if letters could be put on top of those leather puzzle pieces they That'd could be awesome they could here. they certainly could because you might not you don't may not need to punch a hole in every one no because then you could have the letters there you could just put the holes on the ends if you want to yeah that'd be nice i think I think the cool, th the good thing about these is because you can go and, and you can do like a braces, you can do all, you know, textile -y stuff as well. But just how easily they, they just pop out, there it's done are. so quickly, one cut. That's it. I mean, you've seen me cut all these bits and pieces and they've literally been one cut for them all. Right, so I'm just gonna pop some, some eyelets in. Make sure I got the right side now. Then Sarah's off to uh, off to Gibraltar on Sunday. Oh, lovely! Have a nice time, Sarah. What's the weather like? It's still warm over there. I think. I think they they're playing football Oops. late in the yeah. evenings because it's so so ah, warm around Spain right. at the moment. So it's quite cool here. It's, if you can there feel you autumn sort oh. of in the way. Oh, you can definitely feel autumn in the in the air now. Yeah. Distant but memory have, now, I know. But they have said it's going to be warm at the weekend, so we can just live in hope. Can't yes, we? we can. There we go. So there's your first one done. Rivet in place. <laughs> it sounds like I'm not impressed with whatever I am. I rivet in place. <laughs> Riveting place. <laughs> there we are. People again. ask about Yupo paper. It's plastic paper, and as far as I know, regular guys cut it, so it should go like magic. I've not tried Yupo paper, um, but I would imagine it would be okay with normal dyes. I like the two worlds of crafting, like blending. Yes. Like I'm, there's some new for the big book of terms yeah. that we used to have, like for stuff that I'd learn a thing in every show. Yeah, they weren't textiles. This is new for you, when, very new. Yeah, when it? textiles music, because I know like textiles from my mum making stuff, but yeah, it's when the two blur, like you get like a, yeah, it's a cool way to step into something like this if you're into exactly. textiles or doing something like that. I mean, for me, I don't know whether I've told you this yet or not. I've taken up sewing lessons and it is purely because I want to use more of these uh, media dyes and find out what I can do with them, what's the next step. And I've had two lessons up to now. I mean, this is someone who had a real aversion to sewing. I don't sew at all. Oh, I In fact, I took the machine out to the box the night before the first lesson. So there's all our bits all in place there. And the next step I did was Joan, Joan asked, what was that to do? Um, you used to do the holes, where can I get one? This is called thing. a cropper dial. Um, it's by We Are Memory Keepers and it will punch holes in anything. It'll go through tin, 
Neko, um, your grunge board, your, um, what's that called? What? <laughs> this one. Grey oh, board, grey board, grey board. board. Say what you see. Say what you see, you know. It looks think. like grey. Um, it will go through anything. It's going through this leather like butter. It's an absolutely fabulous punch. Um, but if you want to go into to more of the media side, I would say you're going to need one. Right, is that long enough? No, I want a long piece of leather that I can. That will do. Bag of scraps. From my bag of scraps, I'm hoping the scissors will cut in now. Um, I'm just cutting a thin. It doesn't matter if it's not perfectly straight. It does not matter at all. Uh, Sheila, I think she's tired. She had a bad night last night, so so we might have a, have a nap. I think she's saying, "Yeah, go on, have a little snooze." Uh, um, Take care, Sheila. The sad part about uh, going away is my craft kit. We'll go while I'm there. Uh, we'll come while I'm there. Well, yeah, craft kits are almost all sold out. Pretty much UK and US. Wow. I think there's a handful left on the the US and like about two or three left on the UK. So if you do want to get the craft kit, the snowflake box, then uh, then get that while you can. Um, what else we got going on here? Um, well done, Alison. Sewing's a great craft and can take you different places. Okay. Well, my mother always sewed. This was this was my issue that I never needed to sew because my mother did all the sewing. But now, I mean, that is I got to be honest. That's more like a donkey's hind leg. But we'll go with it. Yeah, that, that's the whole mixed media. It doesn't have to be perfect, does it? Anyway, it doesn't. Just have to and then I'm just threading this in and out of the holes. This could be ribbon, you know, it could be that you've done this out of a totally different medium. Um, it could be that you've done it out of cotton fabrics. You may not have wanted to do it out of leather. Um, you could have used a nice thick um, interfacing. You could use it, maybe like an edging of a pillow. You could. Or like that, so you, you could, could have like a, a jigsaw themed pillow. I think I've cut this a bit thick time but as I say we will run with it so I'm just threading right the way through I think some th bits are a little bit thicker than others just take it that I'm doing it fast all right we'll fast forward this bit just, I'll, just don't worry. excuse me for we'll this fast bit. forward this bit I'll just get in everything should have cut it before comments on but yeah, you can create. So, what are you thinking of these medium dies? What are your projects going to be? I think a lot. Everyone's loving them. What I, are you? What are you going to make? Yeah. What are you thinking, everyone? What's What's your project that you've got in mind? And uh, yeah, show us. You know, when when you get these, we'll do next oh, week's gosh, show yeah. tonic showcase because um, you should have had them by then if you've ordered them. Uh, we'll go through them. This week's is like a furniture theme, so it's like home decor kind of whatever whatever you want. So yeah, this stuff you'll be able to use these. So there's your bracelet. Just tie the ends together. I've been a bit uh, ambidextrous here. So just tie your ends. Could be a knot, could be a bow. It'll be a knot today, all right? And there's your bracelet. Obviously, it'll soften down and it'll mould to your wrist a little bit better. But make it so it fits you. And Gosh. there you go. And yeah, there's, there's one for O as well. Oh, go that on. he can wear go one. On, well. I've got to be ambidextrous now as well. Um, go on, be Li clever. Li Lisa, Lisa says, I'd like to make one of those bracelets with mum on. Yeah, mum would be that nice. That would song. be lovely. Be really that nice. would be lovely. But again, you could put the funky foam on it. You know, this would be a fantastic. Do you want a hand? No, not no. yet. No, you're giving, not giving in. Taste in the bag of uh, <laughs> the bag of. Scraps. You don't know where that been. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> On a cow at some point. <laughs> Could be have been anywhere. There you go. Oh, I'm, so we I'm are. like Sir Tim Holt, aren't I, with this? We're twins. <laughs> Look at me. I love that. That's cool. Yeah, nice. I like that. Yeah, that's and it's, it's got that smell as well. It smells of leather. Yeah, you could do it. Yeah, it does. It does. Doesn't yeah, it? yeah, yeah, yeah. But again, I mean, you can put some beads on the end, um, whatever, whatever you fancy. Yeah, get, you know, th this is one of those where you're going to run with it and you're going to create some cool stuff. You know stuff. those mini Scrabble letters? What about sticking those onto it? That's 
that's cool. You could have a game of Scrabble. With you them. could. You could. <laughs> that's that's cool. where you could put men. Good idea, yeah. With your mini Scrabble letters. Well, okay, you could, yeah, the postal letters and stuff will fit yeah. on there as well, wouldn't they? Exactly. Yeah, um, lovely project, Alice. Uh, next week's jigsaw. I see making jewelry out of the puzzle pieces. Yeah, well, that's you know like like these. Yeah. So good textures. My brother and sister are getting tattoos in memory of mum, but I can't have a tattoo, so this would be great. Yeah, this oh, is probably better fantastic. than. Yeah, that's a nice uh, nice idea there, Lou. I tell uh, her the other thing that they they're going to be good for, um, the autism awareness i'm not sure of the name of the group i don't know whether it's the autism society or the autism awareness group they use the the jigsaw as their the emblem piece. yeah that's really that's a good idea so you know if you're making things for the autism charity this would be great as well oh fears and and scrapbook you know fates and things like that these are gonna yeah these are gonna be something that yeah just a fun little thing as well that you can do you can create pictures of whatever of the school yeah. photo or whatever, whatever you like but yeah some loads and loads of stuff but yeah the place to catch this if you want this die set so we'll show it again from the start there you go and this is the die set the media die set the jigsaw this is going on at 4 p.m with jody so that's how many minutes from now i went to look at this as my watch then <laughs> what is the what's the time probably about 10 to I think. yeah it's just so just gone you've got 10 minutes christine chuck your tea in the oven and uh yeah, you'll be ready to join them on a chanda and this plate as well. Just want to show you again. I mean, you've just watched me cut in with this. And again, you can just about see the shape of the jigsaw there. But there's, it's still very, very straight. Very sturdy. Yeah, all, all right. that for you. And you can find out loads more with their high tech cameras on a chanda at 4 p.m. now today. So uh, thank you everyone for joining us. Um, when we're we back, we'll be back Friday. Um, back for the daily tomorrow to tell you everything that's going on. But yeah, loads of fun to have. Get your pictures in the album as well. So from me and Alison, see you.